so now you've got a stream up and running. Well, maybe you want to make it look a little bit fancier. Maybe you want to show off your sponsorships or your support for the 420 culture. Well, I'm going to show you how to do all kinds of stuff like that today. First, let's go over adding an image to your stream. Now, OBS is very nice in that you can preview your stream while editing it. So why don't we go ahead and click the preview stream button just to start getting an idea of what our canvas is going to look like. Now that we can see everything, let's go ahead and add a new source. And in this case, we're going to pick an image. Call it whatever you like, something that you'll remember. In this case, I'll call it Snoop. And go click Browse and go find yourself a nice picture. In this case, I'm going to grab my animated GIF of Snoop Dogg dancing. If you change the color, that'll change the tint of it. Keep it as white to restore the original colors. You can set the opacity, and that's just how transparent it'll be. And you can hit check file for changes, and this will periodically check your file system just to see if the image has changed. Oh, sorry, disregard that. That was my text tone going off. Obama is asking me questions again. Anyway, uh, this color key option here is for setting a transparency mask on the image based on a color. By default, you can leave this disabled if you already have that built into the image, if you're using a GIF or a PNG or something like that, but maybe if you have something else or if you have a giant pink patch that's supposed to be the background, you can configure this here to make it transparent, but that's whatever. Okay, so now we click OK, and look, our Snoop is on the screen. Now we can hit the Edit Scene button, and now we see there's a red outline around Snoop, so now we can drag him around or resize him if we want. Uh, we can also right-click him. And there are several options there, such as changing the layering or changing the size, so on and so forth. So that's great. Now we got a giant dancing Snoop on our screen. So maybe now we want to add some text. No problem at all. Go back to the source monitor, hit add, and choose text. Enter the name of it, in this case we'll call it uh, Sponsorships. Hit OK, and you can select your font based on what you like. I'm going to use the only font that you should ever be using, Comic Sans MS. Pick the color, uh, let's make it a nice hot pink. Opacity, we'll leave that as is. We're going to boost up the font size, we'll just double that to 96, we'll make it bold in italics and underlined. I'm not worried about any of the other things, and we're going to make an outline. We're going to have a black outline with an opacity of 2. Now you can have it import a file, or you can just enter the text. In this case, I'm just going to enter the text, and I'm going to list my sponsorships. Uh, sponsored by Mountain Dew, Doritos, Home Country Buffet, and Plan B. All right, now hit OK, and there is the text. Oh, but that text is a little too big. I don't really want to resize it, because I kind of like the way that the font is. So, hmm, what can we do about this? Well, let's go ahead and right-click it, hit Properties to go change it again, and we're going to add a scroll speed to it, and we'll call that 10. And hit OK, and look! Now the text is scrolling. Who would have thunked it? If we go back here, we see this custom text extends. This will limit it to a very particular box. So if you want the scroll area to be very much in your control, that's also an option. There are also OBS plugins that lets you dynamically change text based on things like maybe what your current media player is playing, but we won't get into those today. Now the last thing I'm going to show you here is how to add a face cam. And it's extremely easy. Let's go ahead and right click and add a new video capture device source. And we'll call this Sexy Time. Hit OK and from here you can select your input device. In this case I have a Logitech webcam. The configure button will just open the uh, proprietary configuration software that came with it. So I'm not going to show you that because it will be different for each one. Uh, you can have it mirror, or you can have it flip if you want. You can change the opacity. You can resize the resolution if you so choose, or change the FPS. In my case, I'm just going to leave everything. And I'm also not going to put an input device in, because OBS already knows to use my headset. 
so we'll click OK, and there is my beautiful face. Yes. Please contain your lady boners, everybody. And your man boners. I am going to put it right here over where my chat would usually be because I don't want you guys seeing all my cybersex logs. And yeah, now you know all the basics to adding a nice little overlay to your stream. So, go ahead and take this, go update your stream, add some dancing Snoop Dogs, add some MLG sponsorships, and add a face cam. With all these tools, you'll be an e-celebrity in no time.